Hi, my name is Dylan Barnes, and I'd like to welcome you to my Maker Portfolio. Throughout high school, I have worked to design creations in both hardware and software. However, in this video, I will focus primarily on my proudest creation, Swarm Surge. Swarm Surge is one of the many games I have created since freshman year and is the most advanced. It is a reverse tower defense game where the player leads the charge instead of defending against it. There are 25 levels, along with custom levels that users can design and play themselves. The goal of each level is to destroy the headquarters while earning as much money as possible. This money can then be used to purchase any of the 15 troops in the store. Throughout the process of designing Swarm Surge, the most challenging part was the custom level system, because it involved nearly every aspect of the game. The first step toward creating custom levels is the menu where they are made. To understand the menu, first it is important to understand that each level is generated by iterating through a double list, in which there are numbers between 0 and 22 where each number represents a different sprite. So, when someone creates a level, they are actually creating a doubled list which I represented with a grid. Every time a user changes the grid by adding a road or a tower, the doubled list is updated. Then, the list can be saved to a file along with the name and starting balance of the level. The second part of the challenge is accessing and displaying the files. One of the problems is that there is no limit to the number of levels a player can create. So, I engineered a function that automatically updates the level selection menu each time a level is saved. It works by counting the number of levels, finding the factors of that amount, summing each pair of factors, and using the lowest sum to determine which factors should be the dimensions of the grid. This provides a solution that accounts for an unlimited number of levels. Ultimately, creating Swarm Surge and my other projects taught me valuable problem-solving skills that I hope to continue to apply at MIT.